Hey everybody, Travis here from Travis.media, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new app on AppSumo called Dub. Now, Dub is not exclusive to AppSumo, but there is currently a deal running on AppSumo where you can get a lifetime license for only 59 bucks. Now, I haven't done an AppSumo review in a while because I'm very selective on what I buy on AppSumo. I try to find the best apps that are most beneficial to me. And then when I do, I like to do a review of it for the people that are kind of on the fence. So there's currently an onboarding video out there about Dub, created by the creator of Dub. And it's really helpful. It shows you all of the features and stuff. But there's a lot of practical questions and things that it doesn't cover that I want to cover in this video. So let's get started. So once you purchase Dub, you're going to end up on the inside here. So this is my inside dashboard. I'm on the dashboard tab. I have here some video stats and my videos, just an overview of everything. All right, next I can click videos and see my current videos. I've only created one here and we're gonna see that in a minute. Tags, I can tag videos, I can tag my contacts. Uh, here you got a contact list, you can import contacts and things like that. Reporting, you can see the reporting on your videos, how many total views, uh, how many calls to action, and all that good stuff. Calls to action, this is where you can create your own personalized calls to action and then use them in your videos. So there's um, you know, email, URL, phone number, just ways for people to interact with your video. Finally, there's integrations. There are lots of integrations, the main one being the Chrome extension. This is the main one, and that ties into a lot of these things. So you got the Chrome extension, you got the iPhone app, which is neat. Um, you got the Gmail extension, you got the LinkedIn extension, Instagram, MailChimp, Messenger, all kind of goodies. But I'm going to show you in just a minute that if your service is not on here, you can still use it. All right? So there is a way to use it with practically everything. Um, even though integrations are always better, we do have a way now. So let's get to the practical side of things here. Um, so when I started using it, and by the way, my video, I usually have a little uh, video of me here uh, as I talk, but I can't use it because I'm about to show you Dub. So just a side note. So when I started using this, I had a lot of questions. Like, how do I use this? What is my purpose for using this? Um, and one of the things I wanted to do was use this with my email list. So sometimes I send emails t out to people and I write a bunch of stuff and I know people just don't have time to read that or are not reading that, my engagement's low. So what I want to start doing is sending videos out. So if somebody gets an email from me, they can click the video, they can watch it and it can say something like, check out my new blog post, click here and they can click it. I think it's gonna be really helpful uh, switching to video in the future because people are just engaging with that more. So let me show you something. All right, so let's say I want to create a video. I just come up here to the Chrome extension. I just click that. It's going to open up. And here I am down here in the corner. So there's my screen cam. I can cut that off or on. So I can turn that off. I can turn it on. I'm going to leave it on for now. I can check my microphone on and off. I can choose my microphone. So I'm currently using the Samsung Q2U. I have my regular computer's camera. All right, all I got to do is hit record, and I start recording a video. That simple. Here I can see my videos, I can see my activity, and all that good stuff. Up here I can choose to just record my tab, my full screen, uh, the camera only, and I can upload a video. So wonderful. That's a great extension. So I made a new video earlier. It just says, check out my new post. It's called to action is read the post that sends them to my new, new blog post. All right. So how do I send this out? So I use ConvertFox as my all-in-one email solution. So ConvertFox does not have an integration. So let me show you a couple things that I did. So first I tried to embed it. I, cop I went over here, I copied the embed code to the clipboard, and then I copied it in my email here. So I went to ConvertFox, I went down here, and I copied it to my email. And guess what, it doesn't work because you can't email iframes. This is an iframe, you can't email. So that didn't work, I was kind of bummed out. Um, I can share the link. I can send it to my email list and say, hey, click this link to see my video. I don't want to do that. I want my video to show just like this. So there's another option here, copy link and thumbnail. Check this out. The drop down here gives you a bunch of options. So you can copy the still thumbnail and link. Remember, the thumbnail is the GIF. That's kind of neat. It kind of loops and loops by default. 
So um, I can copy the still thumbnail, copy the animated GIF, or copy the HTML code. So that's what I did. I hit copy HTML code. Then I went to convert Fox. And let me just remove this. So most email providers uh, will let you not only use the text editor, but will give you the code view as well. So I click code view. I come down here. Um, and I just paste in that entire HTML. So this HTML doesn't have the iframe. So it doesn't block you when you send these emails. So I chose the entire copy HTML code. I went here. I copied that in. Let me go back. And there's my video. All right, so let's see how this works. So I'm just going to send it to myself. Users match this email. So I'm going to come down here and hit create. And I'm going to go send it now and let's see what happens. So I'm going to send this video. Say I, I you know, sent this to my entire list. With ConvertFox, I can select my entire list and I can send this video. So this video is going to be here. Here's my email. Let me show you what it looks like. There's me. Okay, there's my little GIF. There's me moving around. Um, so whatever I have going on, it's going to have some kind of loop here. So this is what my, my email list will get. They'll see this and it'll say, hi, so-and-so, check out my new video or something. And, and down here I have a uh, watch video link. You can click on the image or you can click the thing. So they'll get this and they'll click it and let's see what happens. It takes them to my video page. Now that's great. So here's my video page. This is going to say, and say I'm like, um, hey guys, I have a new blog post based on this, this, this. I think you'll find it helpful. And uh, I walk through these kind of steps. Go ahead and click below to read the post. So they're going to click here and read the post. I think that's a lot easier than writing out all of these paragraphs that a lot of people aren't going to read. Just send them the video and give them a call to action. And uh, there's also a setting where if they try to exit this without clicking the video, it's going to pop up. Uh, actually, I don't think I have that on. Oh, yeah, there it is. So click the button to visit our website. So there it is. So here's the video screen they're going to get. Down here, I have my email. I have my website. So how do we add stuff to that? I also have some emojis here. They can interact with my video. So there's a lot of different things we can add to our video page. So if I go to videos here and go to check out my new post, which was my video that I just sent out, um, I can go to edit. And this is where all the magic happens. So here I have my title, my video title. I got some tags. I can set the privacy, like, hey, only if you have the URL, you can view this. My call to action, I currently have it as just listed as blog. I can create a new one. So here's a new option. And I can uh, make my call to action my email address, a URL, a phone number, Facebook Messenger, or we can book, a ca book a, um, some kind of event in the calendar. Uh, here's my email, so if I choose URL, it gives me the URL option, calendar, uh, calendly.com. So there's a bunch of different options here, my messenger, I have my Facebook information. So this is where I set my call to action. Uh, I can make it my default, I can set the text, it's totally customizable. Down here, I can add the exit intent modal, which I already did. I can add uh, emoji response buttons, and I can set the color of the button. The player, here's some player options. I can choose it to autoplay, which I don't want to do. Um, my video, I can start, a, uh, start an end time and pick another graphic if I want to. I can pick a theme. There are lots of themes, like, for instance, this says handshake. Let me see what that, that brings up. So there's a whole bunch of themes you can add as well. What does that look like? I don't know. Let's click one and see. All right, so I'm going to click that and just hit save. Updated. Great. All right, so let's check out my video page now. All right, so I have a theme. That's, that's really neat. So I can put some images in the background there. Uh, what else can we do with this? Well, there's a bunch of settings as well. So I have my profile I can change. I have my socials that I can connect. And I can set my notifications. What do I want to be notified about? Here's another neat thing. Check out display options. Here I can display social links. So let's do that. I can display uh, a phone number if I want. I can display a title. Let's click the title. I can make it GDPR compliant. So let's click those and now see what my video looks like.
So now I should have more options down here by which people can interact with me. Yeah, so here's my title, web developer, blah, blah, blah. And here are my social icons, and that is wonderful. So you can, I can put my phone number down there. And also, I know a lot of people are doing, uh, asking about you know, LinkedIn and all of these other things you can use it for. Well, I can go back up here to my dashboard. And I can go to calls to action. Uh, sorry, I can go to videos and then back to my video and I can do something like this. Go to edit. Let's say I wanted to send people uh, to Twitter. So my call to action here, I could set as, um, let's create a new one. I could set it as a URL. Let's call it Twitter. The URL is twitter.com slash travis.media. Button text, I can make a custom text. Let's just say, um, send me a tweet. And then description, so I just hit submit. Whoops, need to have HTTPS there. So hit submit to add that. Then I'm gonna go to Twitter and I'm gonna find whatever that color is. But I'll find it here, there it is. Copy that to my clipboard and then I'm gonna come over here and put that as my color. And hit save. Now let's check out the video now. So if I wanna for some reason drive them to Twitter, this now has a good vibe for that. So send me a tweet. All right, I can make that LinkedIn blue, I can make that Google red, I can make that whatever I want. So look, that was my main, th those were my main questions in getting this. How do I use this to market to my email list? And I think it has sufficient ways to do that. Other ways you can use this, uh, if somebody says you build a website for somebody or something and they're like, hey, I can't figure out how to get this to work. You can just do a quick video. Here's how you do it, quick screenshot, uh, screencast and then just click the button and send it to them. Done. Now let's talk a minute about the AppSumo deal. Now supposedly AppSumo, if you buy three licenses, it will give you unlimited videos. I mean, that's, that is a deal. Let me, let me show you what the real pricing is. So 40 bucks a month will get you only 10 gigs of storage and 100 videos. That's it. That's 40 bucks a month. 250 a month will get you 50 gigs of storage in 500 videos. I mean, 250 a month. So for 59 bucks, you're actually gonna get, well, not 59, if you triple the license, it'll be like 180, uh, 63, 180, uh, you will get unlimited videos. That is unbelievable. That is great, a great deal. Now for me, I don't need unlimited videos because I think I'm gonna use it in a way that my videos will self-destruct in a couple days. So I'll send out a video, it'll be about something pertinent at the time, and then I'll just delete it. So the regular, uh, if you just buy one license, it gives you 100 videos and 10 gigs of space. Yeah, so you get 10 gigs of storage, 10,000 contacts, 100 videos and all kind of other good stuff. So for 59 bucks, you are getting a deal. Just for one month, you would pay normally. You're getting more for the lifetime for 59 bucks only. That is a good deal. So, so what about this 10 gigs? So if you do a video, a long video, and you upload it, say the video is two gigs. You do three or four videos, you run, run out of your 10 gigs. Well, there's an app called Handbrake that will shrink your videos significantly. I did a video yesterday, it was like, I think 300 megabytes. I ran Handbrake, it dropped it down to 20 megabytes. And then what you can do is you can go up here to this extension. And instead of recording a video, you can just come up here and upload your video. And once you upload it there, you can use all of the same features that you would use if you were to use their service anyway. So I think that's it, guys. Look, 
this is a good deal. I think video is the future. Even if you're like, I can't quite implement this at the time, I still think you should pick it up and find out in the future some way to start using videos with your clients, with your email list, with cold calling, cold email, not cold calling, I don't know how that would work, cold emails, marketing, all of these things like that. Video is the future. Uh, this is a super deal. For, the same, for 60 bucks, you can get lifetime, which you would get for 40 bucks a month. I think it's 40 a month. So I think this is a steal. Um, hopefully I answered some of your other questions that you might have of how you would integrate this with your email service and things like that. If I haven't, just ask me below and I'll be super happy to try to find you an answer now that I'm on the inside of this app. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and there's lots of videos on the way and um, have a good day.